Now, I don't make pastries a lot, but I'm gonna make the simplest fig tart you've ever seen. I'm absolutely gonna bet you're gonna wanna try it. Now, these guys are already super sweet when ripe, but even sweeter after they've been cooked. Now I'm gonna layer this fruit of the gods on a mascarpone and cream cheese base. Now for my grandma's foolproof pastry. Super simple. A little bit of flour. Some sugar, I'm making a sweet tart. Oh, yeah. Now here's the trick. This is what she always told me. Cold cubed butter. You want the butter nice and cold so it doesn't totally blend in with the flour. You want little chunks of butter because when this cooks up, it's gonna be so flaky. Another tip. Short bursts, let this get all crummy. Perfect, this is all crumbly and mealy. Now I'm gonna start on the eggs. You know, my grandma is such a great baker and she has tons of recipes. And one year for Christmas, my sister and my cousin got together they got all our recipes together. They took them down, scanned them into computer, and they printed everybody a cookbook of all our recipes over the years. It was probably one of the best Christmas gifts I ever got. All right. Got those yolks separated from the whites. Gonna hit it with a splash of cream. You just want the yolk because you want that rich creaminess. Give them a quick whisk. Now to the mix. Same thing with before, you just want to pulse it till it comes together. Think I'm gonna stop there? I got the ball. All right. Never want your dough too dry. And excuse me if I start sounding chefy, but when you need it, you want to take care that you don't overwork it. together so wonderfully. Give it a quick wrap. Then I'm just gonna let it set up in the fridge. All right, I'm gonna roll this dough out. Nice even circle. About a quarter inch thick. Don't want it too thick. Don't want it too thin. If it's too thin, it might not hold all that goodness and it might burn. If it's too thick, it's gonna be doughy. You know what, if you've never rolled dough before, it's just like rolling Play-Doh. Another important thing, make sure you get it on the tray before the toppings. Otherwise, you're gonna have a heck of a time. Perfect. All right, now for the cream cheese base. Using two types of cheese. Mascarpone, which is smooth and loose, and cream cheese, which is rich and thick. Oh, yeah. You know what these cheeses need? Vanilla. Oh, I love this stuff. I'm just gonna split that pod to reveal all those seeds. Oh, look at all that. You get so many out of it. Now, this part's super simple. You just want to mix these all together. Okay, that base is ready for the tart. Again, super easy. Start in the middle. I'm just gonna work it to about three quarters of the way out. It's just like spreading peanut butter on toast. That is creamy. Black Mission Fig. I'm gonna shingle these in a nice little circle. These are soft. 
You know, if they're soft, they're nice and sweet. All right, the fun part, folding this tart together. And this is the best. It's super rustic. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that center exposed so all those juices start coming out once we start baking. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Quick egg wash. A little bit of water. Quick whisk. I'm gonna paint this egg wash all over the outside of this pastry. It's gonna help it cook up golden and brown. Also help any of those little corners stick together so they don't fall apart. And it's gonna help hold the sugar I'm gonna finish this with. Oh yeah. Nice sprinkle on that outer shell and some more right on those sweet figs so they get nice and caramely in the oven. And now, I'm ready to bake. Forty minutes later, and look at that. So figging good. Oh. Mm. Mm. Man, that pastry is so light and flaky. Those figs, perfectly ripe, super rich. And that cream cheese on the bottom, this is almost as good as grandma's but not quite.